Hello and in this screencast for Apache ISIS I'm going to show you how to rename a domain object. Uh, so we have here the simple object, um, you can see this uh, from, the, from the URL in fact, and then this corresponds to um, a class called simple object. So we'll give that a rename, let's go and find it. So first thing I'm going to do, let's hide uh, this out of the way, is uh, to rename the class. Let's go with customer, traditional I suppose. I could let the ID rename all these related fields and parameters and stuff. Why not? Uh, so complete the refactor there. Um, then what I'm also going to do is change the schema. That's the database schema and also the table. Normally I would uh, change the package as well, but for in the interest of brevity I'll leave that out. So that means that that's going to stay as simple because that's the package name, but then this is the name of the class. So that'd be customer customer. Um, I think while I'm here I may as well just change the name of this index. Um, I think that's all there. And then I also need, while I'm thinking about databases, to go to one of my tear, to my teardown script I have, which is simple objects teardown, because this is the thing that deletes all of the rows, so it's from the, uh, this is now the schema, so uh, that's the cust schema and the customer table. So that's um, it, just to finish off um, we renamed the simple object class so we're going to also rename the supporting files the layout file and normally there'd just be a single icon uh, so that'll be customer.png but actually we uh, customize the icons to have um, it being rendered uh, in two different styles with an on and an off flag uh, if I go back to the application, this was um, turned on, I think, so you can see it's a, a check thing. Anyway, so that's another icon file. And I think that's it, so let's give it a go. And so with the application running, let's have a look. And we can see here's one of our domain objects, and you can see that the URL has changed. Okay, now obviously back in the application, there are lots of other classes that have got the, got the word simple object in them, like mix-ins and bits of testing and so forth. But that um, one class I changed there, simple object to customer, that's basically all it takes to uh, rename a class and to have it updated in the user interface. Hope that made sense. Give it a go.